Uh, something that has not changed is the personality of Mike Leach. He is maybe the most lovable weirdo anywhere yes. in sports. And we do not have coaches who behave this way. We do not have coaches who have actual uh, fake pirates in their office or are just, you know, very likely to sit on a stool in Key West uh, for a week. Um, and here is Mike Leach. It's a weird way. I mean, but it's... But it's, you're right. Uh, yes. I mean, he does that. So Mike Leach, though, uh, had some opinions on cargos. And if you're not familiar with Mike Leach's work, it can be meandering, but um, always insightful in the way that lunatics can be sometimes. Have you always worn cargo shorts as a coach? Is that yeah, it's like for the pockets. Yeah, yeah, you always have pockets. You, I, I don't understand those nylon shorts. You know, you jog around and your stuff flaps all over the place. <laughs> I, you know, I've never liked those. How many pairs of cargo shorts do you have? Uh, difficult to say because now it's kind of where they, you know, they'll give them to me, or Nike will say, "Here, check these ones out," type of thing. <laughs> Uh, can you put on the poll uh, when you wear nylon shorts? Does everything flap around? Is that what he said? And what's the everything? What's the everything he speaks of? Like the cell phone in his pocket? No, or, no, that, no, 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 no. That's not what he's talking about. Uh -uh. But he, he started with pockets. I'm pretty sure that what he was lamenting there that the nylon shorts don't have is pockets, and pockets don't help with packages. Have you always worn cargo shorts as a coach? Is that yeah, it's like for the pockets. Yeah, yeah, you always have pockets. You, I don't understand those nylon shorts. You know, you jog around and your stuff flaps all over the place. I, I don't know. You know the I've stuff flapping those. makes me think he was talking. How many talking pairs of cargo brother. shorts do you have? Uh, difficult to say because now it's kind of where they, you know, they'll give them to me. Or Nike will say, here, check these ones out type of thing. <laughs> that has nothing to do with your iPhone or your wallet. Okay, I just want to move away as quickly as I can <laughs> from the visual of Mike Leach's stuff flapping. No. So I'd like to think yeah. of Let's, Let's stay here. Let's stay here. Let's stay here for a second. Yeah, because Plus, the, I have some thoughts on cargo shorts. Yeah, because the, yeah. the underwear is what prevents the flappage. Does he go without underwear? Because regardless... Is he going commando? Because regardless of the nylon shorts or the cargo shorts, you got to have a nice pair of drawers. Well, he's in Pullman. Pullman's different than, like, Baton Rouge. If you're in Baton Rouge, there's going to be a whole lot going on. All right, you need, like, a green bottle of gold bond. You got to – I mean, you really need some assistance. Pullman is much, much more mild, milder, than, than like, Baton Rouge or Tuscaloosa, right? So he just might go commando and be against the grace of pirate, for heaven's sake. Are we still calling basketball shorts nylon shorts? Is that a thing? Well, Mike Leach's. Mike Leach. <laughs> People of Mike Leach's age. Um, st stuff flapping. Yeah. That, I, I mean, I, I am wrong. Yep. It's not about pockets. He is not talking about pockets nope. there. No, your cell phones can flap, guys. They yeah, can. Yeah, they can. The you ever wear the nylon shorts and you're running and it, it, all of a sudden it flaps right into your other stuff? Yeah. Oh, oh. How do you guys feel about cargo shorts? Because he is nope. right. You always have a pot. I don't love them. He's right. There's always room for more. Like, I feel like I could pack my entire house in a pair of cargo shorts. Yeah. But you have a tendency to put too much in the shorts, and then you're walking around with a lot of additional weight. I used to rock the cargo shorts around here, and then everyone started judging me hardcore, so I've right. completely eliminated them from my wardrobe. I think I might have some on right now. <laughs> do you guys remember bike coaching shorts that, like, Super polyester, yes. two, yeah. two snaps yeah. right here. I wore here, those throughout the 80s. All the junk <laughs> You was talk out. about stuff flapping. Yeah, that's a lot of flappage. <laughs> there was so there much flappage. A lot of flappage. So much flappage in the biker shorts. A terrible idea. Terrible. <laughs> uh, those are Weren't they called coaching shorts? Bike coaching shorts. Yeah, man. Oh, and they were really young. And did you did you couple them with like some white tube socks up to your knees? Oh yeah, spot with, built with cleats, the stripes. Yeah, I looked like Will Ferrell in that semi pro movie. <laughs> ah, tropics. As a, as a thirteen as a thirteen year old, that's it with a headband and everything. That's what I look like. You think I'm kidding? There are pictures to prove it. My father used to get so mad at me because why? Because look at me, <laughs> the headband. I was all about I, wristbands too. I was. Uh, a, a player with a lot of hot dog and no actual game. <laughs> Have you seen that uh, face morphing video of Tom Brady that uh, went sort of viral on yeah. social media? He's he changed a lot. Yeah, yeah, he did. 
he looks a lot better. That hairline got stronger. The jawline got tighter. He's he's in incredible shape. He's aged so gracefully. He looks a lot better at 42 than he did in his 20s. But but the very first rookie picture, he doesn't even look like the same. His face looks different. Yep. It's almost like he morphs into a different person. He well, becomes so beautiful. Well, let me ask you this because I know we oh did this God. to Barry Bonds, but when some things appear that you haven't oh seen God, before, look, he looks there, beautiful. There's there oh a God. live shot right now. A little sweat today. coming off the forehead. Oh, oh my God. God, he is hot. Yes, he looks amazing. How and you he guys, have no lines. He has no wrinkles, man. He's my age. How's that? That's not fair. <laughs> I would drink his sweat. <laughs> would you? I would. Yeah. <laughs> so would I. I mean, it's it's either uh, sorcery. <laughs> Or you can stop there. It's sorcery. He's a witch. <laughs> the, the doctor who's not a doctor. Oh, Robert Guerrero. He should have a statue outside of Gillette Stadium. <laughs> Shouldn't he? Put it, on the, put it on the poll. Should Tom Brady's doctor who's not a doctor have a statue outside Gillette? <laughs> cha-ching. Cha-ching. Time for some ads. <laughs> he does. I think this is what's going to happen. I'm Because I'm looking at the same... Camera angles you guys are looking at. His face looks beautiful. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Beautiful. And I think when he's winning the Super Bowl at 59 years old, <laughs> he's just going to peel the face off, and it's going to be full robot. Like, it's just going to be, ha-ha, you guys didn't test for this. I wasn't human all of these years. <laughs>